The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, has established that employees have the right to a safe and healthy workplace. Employees also have a right to be treated with respect and dignity while they're on the job. But every year, tens of millions of U.S. workers report that they have experienced some type of harassment at work. This offensive behavior is bad for people and for business. It's also illegal, but it doesn't have to happen. What's that supposed to mean? What? In this program, we will discuss what harassment is, why it is detrimental to us all, how you should respond to it, and ways that you can avoid violence if possible. A day on the job can often pass more pleasantly when workers keep things light by sharing humor, banter, and maybe even a little horseplay. But sometimes an employee's verbal or physical jabs might get too pointed, so a coworker begins to feel more than a little uncomfortable. The joker may not know when to back off, or they may not want to. For reasons of their own, or maybe no real reason at all, they keep needling their target, pushing buttons, testing boundaries. This is called harassment. It is unwelcome and offensive, and can make a workplace feel hostile and abusive for the victim. Why are you still here? There are many types of harassment. It includes verbal abuse, things that people say that are hurtful or disturbing to another, as well as physical abuse, Abusive horseplay can hurt a victim's body as badly as it does their feelings. While much of the harassment that takes place at work is done intentionally, it's important to remember that it is not always meant to be harassing. So as you interact with your coworkers, keep in mind that each individual is the judge of what they feel is offensive. Something that doesn't bother one person may be very hurtful to another. The impact of harassment on a workplace is not limited to the victim alone. It can create a tense and hostile atmosphere that can affect everyone, even those who are not exposed to the harassment directly. This toxic work environment can damage employee morale and reduce job satisfaction throughout the organization. It can also drive down productivity, directly affecting a company's business. But that's still not the whole story because all too often harassment can escalate into workplace violence. People can be hurt, even killed. Everyone involved in a violent incident may also be subject to disciplinary action by their company. They could even lose their jobs. And regardless of who started it, violence can get you into serious trouble with the law. So complaints of workplace harassment should always be taken very seriously. Workplace harassment is considered to be a type of discrimination, and as such, it is against the law. The 1964 Civil Rights Act made it illegal to discriminate against anyone because of their race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Other laws have been passed to protect people against discrimination on the basis of age, disability, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Many instances of harassing behavior focus on personal characteristics like these. For example, someone who was harassing an older coworker by constantly questioning whether they could work with the company's newfangled computers would be discriminating against them based on their age. Someone else might harass a coworker by purposely telling ethnic jokes within earshot, which could be discrimination based on ethnic origin or race, and so on. One type of harassment that's received a lot of attention recently is sexual harassment. Sexual harassment can include any type of sexually oriented conduct that the victim finds unwelcome or offensive. Propositioning or sexually assaulting a coworker are examples of blatant forms of sexual harassment. But sexually harassing behavior can also be more subtle and includes making sexual and sexist remarks 
assigning a person demeaning tasks because of their gender, or displaying suggestive objects or pictures in a work area. While we may usually think of men as the harassers and women as the victims, women can be harassers as well. Victims can also be harassed by persons of their own gender. And harassers can be virtually anyone. Co-workers, supervisors, even customers, clients, or vendors. Like other forms of harassment, sexual harassment can be devastating for victims and witnesses as well. So it's critically important to be able to recognize all types of harassment in a workplace and take action to end it. But it's not appropriate. When harassment occurs in a workplace, it can turn the environment hostile not only for its victims, but for employees throughout the organization as well. That's why it's so important to take action to end workplace harassment whenever it does occur. Because experience shows it won't go away on its own. But some employees may resist taking action because they don't want to get involved, be a tattletale, or get anyone in trouble. They may dismiss harassment as something that comes with the job or worry that they're being too sensitive about it. Every employee has a responsibility to help their company deal with workplace harassment. We each need to do our part to shut it down and prevent it from escalating into violence or sexual assault. When a coworker says or does something that disturbs you, you should let them know how it makes you feel because what offends you may not be offensive to them. So they may be unaware that what they're doing could bother someone else. You don't have to be confrontational, but you need to let them know that what they're doing is offensive. Sometimes that's all it takes to resolve the problem. However, if the behavior continues, you should report it to your supervisor or the HR department. When harassment includes threats of violence, the situation can be much more serious and you should report it immediately. But whenever possible, it's important to take the time to write down the details of a harassing incident first. In addition to substantiating your report, this documentation helps others to fully understand the situation. Note the date and time, what happened during the incident, who was present and why you feel it was harassing. If you have received offensive memos, emails, or pictures, bring them along with your notes when you make the report. I can't believe you've done this again. It's like a third time this week. I've been when harassment occurs on the job, it can damage employees' morale, reduce their job satisfaction, and drive down productivity. These effects are serious enough but harassment can lead to violence as well. As a result, people can be hurt physically and professionally. If a harasser becomes agitated or physically aggressive, there are guidelines you should follow to try to defuse the situation and prevent people from getting hurt. First, you need to stay calm. Don't argue or get into a shouting match. Maintain a non-threatening posture. Don't make fists or fidget. Keep your arms low. Stay at least five feet away from the other person and avoid physical contact. You might suggest involving a neutral party to help resolve the conflict or try to change the subject. But if all else fails, you should just walk away. No, why don't we finish this out? Like, you write, you write me out. If a harasser shoves or tries to hit you, do not push them back or try to hit them. See if you can get away instead. If they grab or corner you so you can't leave, call out for help. There's usually someone around who can come to your aid. Do not allow yourself to be drawn into a fight. Fighting on the job can have serious personal, professional, and legal consequences. You could be injured, disciplined, or fired by your employer, even arrested and charged with assault. And even if they started the fracas, the other person could take you to court over it.
The behavior that we call stalking is a type of harassment that can be difficult to precisely define. In general, a stalker makes repeated, unwanted, and inappropriate contact with another person in a way that alarms, annoys, or intimidates them. Victims of stalking may find themselves being followed and spied on. They may receive unwanted gifts, email messages, or telephone calls. All this would be disturbing enough, but in some cases, stalking can lead to physical assault or murder, so it needs to be reported immediately. If you feel that you are being stalked by someone who works with you, there are a number of things that you can do to deal with the problem. First, trust your instincts. If you ever feel that you are in physical danger from a stalker, call your company security department or local police immediately. Never confront a stalker or return the gifts that they give you. This can encourage them to continue their behavior or it could provoke them to violence. Write down details about each stalking related incident. Make note of the dates and times, what happened and who might have witnessed it. Bring this material along when you make your report about the stalker to management or your HR department. There are several things an employer can do to address a stalking situation. In some cases, they may try to discourage the stalker or get them to lose interest by relocating the victim's workstation or revising their schedule. The company could also install a silent alarm or surveillance camera or even post a security guard in a victim's work area. In the most serious cases, it may be necessary for a victim to obtain a protective court order to get a stalker to leave them alone. As we've seen, workplace harassment can create real problems for employees and the companies they work for. But there are things we can do to avoid being subjected to offensive behavior. Let's review. Harassment is any type of unwanted behavior that creates a hostile or abusive work environment for the victim. If someone says or does something that offends you, you should let them know. If harassing behavior continues, you need to report it to your company. Never confront a stalker or return the gifts that they give you. Anytime you feel you are in physical danger, you should contact company security or your local police immediately. If harassment looks like it may be turning violent, remain calm. Don't allow yourself to be drawn into a fight. Now that you understand what can be involved with workplace harassment and know what you can do to avoid it, you can help make your company a safer and more respectful place to work every day.